Navy motor torpedo boats on patrol in waters off the Panama Canal. Known as PT boats, they're the fastest warships afloat. From the air, Navy fighters dive, simulating an actual attack as gunners fight them off. French airmen in North Africa with American P-40 fighter planes form a new Lafayette Escadrille. Allied air commanders Spots and Doolittle salute the new unit now to fight for the United Nations. In the last war, American volunteers formed the original Lafayette Escadrille to fight for France. Now beneath the stars and stripes, Frenchmen return the compliment as they take arms against the common foe. Water sports, particularly rowing, occupy an important place in athletic education at many American universities. These youngsters on the Pacific Coast are national champions, and this is their first spring training of the season. Beneath the watchful eyes of their coach, they bend to the oars. Young Americans building strong bodies for the tasks that lie ahead. United States submarines return to their base after months of raiding in Japanese waters. Tough bearded crews home to report. Their mission, a success. Like all true sailormen, they turn first to the job of preparing their ships again for sea. Eight Jap flags painted on the conning tower of one submarine means eight Jap ships sent to the bottom. Aboard an American aircraft carrier, Admiral Halsey, Allied Naval Commander in the South Pacific, comes to award the Distinguished Flying Cross to Navy Flyers. Heroes in the action that drove the Japanese from Guadalcanal in the Solomons. One officer commanded the air squadron that destroyed a carrier. Another destroyed a cruiser, while the third sank a Japanese battleship. Congratulations from the Admiral, as the Navy's traditional message flashes through the fleet, well done. Crown Prince Olaf and Crown Princess Martha of Norway come to dedicate a 51-acre vacation center in the United States for Norwegian merchant seamen. Norwegian sailors form the Guard of Honor as their native flag is raised above eightfold America. The new Eightsfold, named in honor of the community in which the Norwegian Constitution was signed 129 years ago. The royal couple, tireless workers in behalf of Norway's valiant seamen, receive a simple tribute from a stewardess twice torpedoed by Axis submarines. Today, two and a half million tons of Norwegian shipping still carries on for the United Nations. French battleship Richelieu arrives in the United States after a stormy 13-day voyage from Dakar. Mightiest of 46 French warships to join the United Nations, the Richelieu will be put in fighting trim at an American Navy yard. Nearing completion when the Nazis occupied France, the 35,000-ton Richelieu is one of the world's most powerful fighting ships. 
Naval experts boarded the Richelieu upon her arrival. Within two hours, American equipment and supplies were going aboard. Soon the Richelieu's mighty guns will roar the defiance of an awakened France, fighting side by side with the United Nations. Wanderers upon the face of the earth. Patriots from Poland, nearing the end of one of the most amazing marches in history. 3,000 weary miles they've walked to find a haven of refuge. Some have babies that were born during the pathetic three-year flight from their homeland. A people who since 1939 have known war as perhaps no other people have known it. A people who have known hunger, starvation. A people ground to helplessness beneath the heel of Nazi oppression. From one little town in Poland, a thousand men, women and children fled from the Nazis into Russia. When the Nazis followed, they pushed on through mountain and desert, 3,000 miles to Persia, to a haven in Iran on the Caspian Sea. Here they found a promised land a refugee city of their countrymen deep in the foothills of the Transcaucasian Mountains. From British and American Red Cross stations, they receive fresh clothing, shoes to replace those worn ragged beyond recognition or repair. The first real home-cooked meal in years. Quickly, schools are formed that Poland speech may never die. Mothers till the ancient soil of Persia, while father, son, and daughter leave to join new armies of the Polish government in exile. Legions of Polish women and legions of Polish men now forming to join the United Nations in the fight against the Axis. The prayers of their countrymen go with them. Prayers for their success and prayers for their safe return. Daily, little Poland in Persia grows as new arrivals swell their numbers. Reunion in Iran for families parted more than three years ago. The courageous people of Poland, staunch allies of the United Nations in the fight for freedom.